Now at noon, breaking news. Chopper 4 live over the aftermath of a chase through two counties that ended in a deadly crash. It all started with a double shooting in South Miami Heights. A suspect speeding on US 27 when he crashed into a car on Griffin Road, killing the driver. Well, after the crash, the suspect held police at bay, leading to an hour-long standoff. He was later found dead inside his car. We've got live team coverage from the scene of the crash and the shooting scene where it all began. Let's start with CBS 4's Joe Murray live on the scene where this chase ended tragically. Joan? Yes, Elliot, and uh, we want to warn our viewers that some of the video you are going to see is disturbing. Um, let's begin here. We're about a half a mile from that crash scene. This is the staging area where law enforcement put us. Uh, as you see behind me, Weston Fire Rescue is on scene. They have set up a canopy. Uh, many uh, area law enforcement involved in this operation, including Weston Fire Rescue, Broward Sheriff's Office, Broward Sheriff's Office Chopper. Also, uh, Davy PD was out here, and as uh, various uh, undercover officers we saw going by us as we made our way out to the scene. Let us first begin with where this chase, uh, we picked it up, and it started with this car swerving around a dump truck turning onto US 27 North. It was a Mercedes. Uh, you can see he was driving erratically north on US 27, uh, going through red lights, um, also barely missing many vehicles. Next, you're going to see, uh, this is disturbing, uh, this uh, crash, you see that the car collides with a vehicle that is going through the intersection at Griffin Road and U.S. 27. Um, the driver, unfortunately, uh, was deceased. Um, next, you're going to see what happened after that awful crash took place and that ended tragically with an innocent driver being killed. Uh, the standoff. So the cops approached the vehicle. Um, they started to run away when we were told shots were fired. Uh, SWAT did arrive on scene. You can see that the police were uh, behaving very cautiously. They backed off as the SWAT moved in. Uh, the SWAT standoff um, eventually ended next to their Mercedes. Um, again, the uh, alleged perpetrator of this uh, was also uh, killed. Uh, at this point, we do not have the identity on that alleged perpetrator. Uh, neither do we have the identity on this person who was going through the intersection. We can tell you that uh, the driver uh, was trying to make his way through that intersection when the driver of the Mercedes crashed into him. Uh, he was killed instantly. Um, at this point, again, this is a very active police scene out here on Griffin Road. Again, we're just east of US 27. We understand at this hour that uh, traffic on US 27 southbound is now open. However, northbound remains closed, and it will be uh, closed for some time while this investigation uh, proceeds into um, exactly what happened from uh, the start of where these uh, shots were fired up until where it ended here in West Broward. Again, uh, so the scene at this hour is that Griffin Road westbound just before US 27 is closed. So no traffic is being allowed through Griffin Road approaching US 27 and US 27 northbound remains uh, shut at this hour. We'll have uh, the latest on the investigation beginning at 5 tonight. Reporting in West Broward County, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.